Okay, for question six, we are looking at the rate of decomposition for metal carbonates. Okay, rate of decomposition. When metal carbonates are actually heated, right, you guys know that they will decompose to, fam to form a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, definitely when you heat carbonate, you know that it breaks down, right? It will decompose to form carbon dioxide gas. And then they say they did this setup and then it forms a white PPT, okay, in a sample of uh, lime water, which is calcium hydroxide. So calcium hydroxide, when you have your carbon dioxide uh, gas come into contact with it, you will get a white PPT of calcium carbonate. Okay, so you have the results of this investigation. Okay, so you can see the time taken for the white PPT to form. So the the shorter the time, right, it means that the, the carbonate is less stable because it's very easy to break down. The longer the time, the more stable the metal carbonate is. Okay, so question one, name the gas, obviously carbon dioxide. Uh, describe and explain the trend taken for lime water to turn milky, i.e. to form your white PPT, yeah in relation to the thermal stability of the metal carbonates. So if you remember in your metals chapter, right, uh, you remember the sequence of metals, uh, which ones are the more reactive one. Okay, so if you look at the table, right, the more stably, thermally stable the metal carbonate, the longer the time taken for the lime water to turn milky. Okay, but so the more reactive the metal is, right, the more stable the metal carbonate will be. So you take more energy to decompose it, to liberate, so there's a longer time taken. Okay, so the most stable from this table uh, would be your calcium carbonate. Lah. The, the least stable will be your copper carbonate. Okay, just looking at the timing. Okay, C part one, to ensure that it is a fair test, the amount of heat supply must be constant. Suggest how this can be done. So you need to think about how you can um, make this uh, heat supply. How can you let it be cons constant in all the experiments? So it's got to, you got to think along the lines of uh, the practical setup. Okay, so how... Uh, how big the air hole is um, basically will turn the flame to luminous or non-luminous uh, that will also affect the, the amount of heat that's being produced okay so um, same height of the flame uh, flame is same distance from the test tube and the strength of flame which is essentially the same thing lah, okay for most of them so it's either the the strength of the flame or the distance of the flame from the test tube, okay? The last question suggests another measure you take to ensure a fair test. Um, so if you need to think about other variable other than the Bunsen burner, right? Um, then in this case will be the lime water that is used and also the how, what is the mass and the, and the surface area, the size, the particle size of your metal carbonate okay because the the greater the surface area the faster the reaction right and then the concentration of lime water the higher it is uh, the faster the white ppt will form 